Good morning, everybody. Welcome back. You guys know the drill. Today, another day of fishing. Gassing up. We got about an hour and a half to the launch. Of course, we got the kayak in the back. Rods, seat, tackle trunk, motor, coffee, whatever. Lots of lots of stuff. We're, we're good to go though. We're ready. I always do that too. I always like, as soon as I leave the house, I have like a mental checklist. Very rarely do I forget stuff. I have heard uh, stories of uh, friends and other folks that uh, forget essential things when they finally make that long drive to the water, like a seat, like a paddle. Yeah, not good. Let me know in the comments below. One of the, uh, the most common things, or maybe even the most important thing you forgot when you got to the water. And did you fish? Did you continue on? Did you, did you fight through? <laughs> did you, did you make it work? Leave me a comment below. Let me know. For me, one time recently, actually, I forgot water. And that actually, believe it or not, I drink a lot of water. That sucked. Anyways, day of fishing, heading to the river, hour and a half. We're fishing for whatever, but I'll see you guys out there. Get it started. Try to get all fancy. Trying to get all fancy, and we know what's going to work. Man, just made a million casts right there with the jig. Switched over to the Ned just because it looked so juicy. And uh, got one to bite. Well, maybe it's a Ned kind of day. Little dude. That skunk out of the boat. Huh, that's interesting. That might tell us a little something though. We did just make nine or 10 casts with a jig. All parts of that sunken tree, not a single bite. Two, three casts with a Ned and we get bit. We'll see what that means. Seriously, how? I think we may have Got lucky there, I think we're good. Ooh, slow morning, guys. Super slow morning. Dude, oh, that was real smooth. What a terrible start. <laughs> Blooper day. Let's just go to the end. Ah. Let's catch some striper to get us, get us warmed up. I think we gotta wait for the, that tide to change before those bass start biting. In their usual spots, Let's see if we can get some bonus striper on the A-rig back here. That might be a salmon. Oh, it's big, whatever it is. Uh, it's either, like we said, giant striper or salmon. We got... Crush the thing, what is that? Man, it felt way bigger than that. Way bigger. I 
That's a good one, but... That's a pretty thick one. I mean, man, it felt way bigger. It was peeling me. <laughs> Strong fish, though. It's a nice thing about the Delta this time of year. When the bass aren't biting, just uh, start fishing for striper. You got that middle one too. A little chartreuse tail. Man, that thing crushed it though. It's quite a bit of bait underneath us. <laughs> at the boat not a big one man these things just fight so hard it's crazy thick ones back here Whew, that was a cool bite right at the boat and you got the right bait too one with a hook on it That's why we brought this guy. Got her. <laughs> Basketball things on the white chatter. Did not think we'd be catching a bass. We'll take it though. The old white chatter. Interesting. Okay, okay. Kind of want to try something real quick. There's bass over there. I should hit the net, right? In theory. Bunch of them there. That's three bass in the same spot. It's a, it's a chunky, chunky fish. On the rig, just threw the net up in there and nothing. Just want something moving today, I guess. Bunch of bass. We found a bunch of bass back here. Some good ones too. We're only hitting moving stuff. Again, you think it's like the pre-spawn, but man. just some fat fish.
There's one little section right there. They're just sitting. It's like a little tiny lane. I think this little creek right here has bait moving in and out of it. And these fish are just kind of sitting in this little channel waiting for bait to roll by. And they're just coming up and munching it. Definitely slow rolling. I mean, slow rolling, but more so so this bait gets down a little deeper. I'd say these fish are sitting in like 10 foot in this channel. And again, this little creek back here kind of narrows and just bait moves in and out. I'm really surprised there's not more striper back here, but I know as soon as I say that, I'll probably catch a striper. Guess it's just an A rig kind of day. I think the fish are sitting deeper in the channel. All this wood that we've been throwing a jig at and fishing shallower is just not working. I think a lot of these fish are sitting right on the channel edge. This would be a good spot for some bass to sit. We'll see if the theory is correct. I think the theory is correct. It feels like a bass. Oh yeah. I think the theory is correct. I have to drop off a little deeper. And we got bit. Yeah, I've been fishing a lot of these trees, you know, just throwing up in them with a jig, and I just don't think they're there today. I think they're pushed out as that one just showed us. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, it is only about noon, short day on the water, but uh, we got a storm rolling in, and I'd say any other time of year, like spring, summer, we'd probably stay out. The bite could get really good, but it's cold. Getting wet, being cold, uh, just really not feeling it, and uh, I don't know. We caught our fish, we got our fix. Kind of an interesting day, just to kind of recap. We thought we were gonna catch a lot more striper on that A-rig. Actually, we thought we were gonna catch fish on the jig and the Ned rig, but nothing except one on the Ned. But we did figure a little something out. For whatever reason, a lot of those bass and striper had kind of moved closer to the channel, like in the middle of the river, and they were just setting up, waiting for bait. Pretty much today was throwing that A-rig out, slow rolling it, which just allowed that bait to get closer to the bottom. We were fishing it probably in about 10 to 12 foot. And uh, once we got it in the right areas, those bass would munch on it. Glad we uh, are continuing to learn the Delta uh, all times of year and different techniques. That is the thing about the Delta that I've kind of learned or noticed is that in most parts of the Delta, there are fish to be caught. You just got to figure out how to catch them, which is uh, a lot easier said than done, especially in, uh, you know, colder months. Yeah, that A-Rig is still whacking fish. We'll probably uh, keep throwing it as long as they're biting it. So that is the video for today. Short one probably, but uh, day on the water. As always, share all trips and fishing outings with you guys, and uh, this is what happened today. So as always, thank you guys for watching, for coming along, and I'll see you guys in the next video.